Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds and this is WND Presents The Real Gino. Today we're going to take a look at a movie whose trailer got me interested in seeing it right away, as well as made me very hungry. Today we're going to take a look at the menu, so let's do this. We now offer you a 45 second head start. <laughs> okay, 45 second starts now. Tonight will be madness. Welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Welcome to Hawthorne. He's not just a chef, he's a storyteller. The game is trying to guess what the overarching theme of the entire meal is going to be. You won't know till the end. Margot and her date, Tyler, are set to dine at an exclusive restaurant owned by a world famous chef. As the evening continues, things to take a turn for the worse and the strange. Okay, so as I said before, this movie's trailer had my interest right away, and the same could be said about when the movie started as well. I will say that this is one that I wished I could have went into knowing nothing, though. I think that to experience this one knowing nothing would have been a real treat. You know, like a perfectly seasoned and grilled cheeseburger where the edges are crispy and the Cheese is just melted to perfection. Mmm. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, folks. Moving on. What you get with the menu is, well, I don't want to call it a horror comedy, but more of a thriller dark comedy, if that's even a thing. I mean, I guess it is because that is how I would describe this one. It's hard to put into words how deliciously perfect this movie was. Just like how a prime cut of ribeye that's been kissed by the flames to a perfect medium center melts in your mouth. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, chef. Come on, Gino, stay focused. You don't want to upset chef. Do you think I made chef upset? This is one of those movies where all the performances, and I do mean all of them, are acted very well with all of the characters fitting in just the right spots for the narrative to work. Whether the roles be considered big or not, all of them are great. You have people who are there for all different reasons, but there is a common thread between all of them. Except for Margot, she just always seems out of place with this group, even though there may or may not be some form of connection for her to be there. Speaking of Margot, and Chef for that matter, Anya Taylor-Joy and Ray Fiennes are both amazing in this. While they both more than hold their own in scenes without each other, when they get together, it is phenomenal. The two of them play off of each other in ways that can carry any tone that the scene calls for. Both of them were great, but I didn't expect anything less from the two of them. I especially loved it when Fiennes got to bring out his inner Gordon Ramsay in a few scenes. Think Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares Gordon Ramsay. He just looks like he is having such a good time. To tell you much else about this one would be to spoil the ride for you. Just know that this movie is creative and clever with every aspect of it. It's absurd and darkly funny. This one knows exactly what it is all the way through, and I loved every single morsel of it. If you want to see the menu, and you absolutely should, you can make your reservation at the theater right now. Mmm. You know, I know the Michelin star thing is a Total BS, but this movie gets five stars from me by their guide. And yes, I know three is supposedly the top rating, but this movie is just that good and highly recommended. Mm. That's going to be it for this edition of WND Presents The Real Gino. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds. Till next time. Man, this is good. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger.